Hey, hey, YouTube. Welcome back to Arabin Outdoors. Hey, I'm Arabin, but you knew that, didn't you? You guys up for a little bit of archery today? Smoking my Missouri Meerschaum Country Gentleman Corn Cob Pipe. About to shoot some arrows. Let me show you the gear I'm going to be using today. The target that I'm going to be shooting at is right here. The black hole. Mrs. Arabin gave me this for Christmas, so I'm looking forward to putting my first arrow in it. So that's, the, that's what we'll be shooting at. We'll be using my 54 inch longbow which is short for a longbow um, but that's what we'll be using the arrows are just these carbon arrows here uh, they are uh, I'll show you the size and all that if you can read that I don't even know what all that means but uh, I believe they're 28 inch arrows and they have just a regular Field tip on it. Um, I'm keeping the arrows today in my pocket quiver, which is a leather quiver uh, that sticks in your back pocket and then attaches on the back over your belt into your back pocket so you can just reach around. Well, you'll see. I used to use one of the little finger tabs, but when I was at the Renaissance Fair this last year, I went to one of the archery vendors and they had this three finger glove so I figured I'd give it a try. Um, I've been wearing it a while to loosen it up. It's leather. I love the smell of leather. So let me go get everything set up and then we'll take some shots and see if we can put the arrow in the target. Stick around guys. Here's the pocket quiver. Like I say, it fits in the pocket, goes over your belt loop. You can just reach around, grab the arrows. Alright, so here, let's see if we can do this, guys. I like the way you can just reach back there and grab the arrows. Very comfortable. And let's see if we can get one in there. Alright, first shot, not too bad. I tell you what, it's really easy to reach back here and grab these arrows. Really easy. Man, that one almost, I almost did a Robin Hood on that one. It looks like from here. That arrow almost went into the other one. Alright. Two more and then we'll see how we did. Okay. Gotta give one in the black center point. I'm hitting the white ring around the edges. Oh, a mess. There's always one, it seems like. Well, go take a look at the target and see how we did on the first six. It's been a while, guys. All right, so we had one. It was a complete mess. We got uh, one inside the black center, and then we have three on the outer ring of the center and then one right above that so for the first six shots in a long time I'll take it all right guys um, I'm telling you I really like the three finger glove first time I've ever used one I'm used to the finger tab and I'm loving the pocket quiver before I had a back sling that I could also hook on my belt on the side, but the arrows would fly back and forth and up and down, and it's kind of hard to draw them, but it's real easy to just reach back here and get your arrow ready. So let's see if we can get some inside of that black hole in the black hole target. That's why they call it the black hole after all. Oh. 
event. That moved the target. That was way left and high. I need a lot more practice, y'all. But that's that's what I'm doing. Now, over adjusted that time. All right, let's put it in between those two. Maybe we'll do better. Oh, too high. Well, there's a reason I don't hunt with a bow, y'all. But I still love doing it. I'm all over the place. That target, I don't know, that's a very light target. I see that it's moving around on me as I'm hitting the top level. The target is moving. So I don't know about that, but I wish you could have... Yeah, I'm hitting way left. And that target just keeps moving on me. I wish it was maybe a little bit heavier. All right, there's six more. At least I had no misses that time. Let's go check it out and then we'll do one more round. Yeah, my target kind of went cattywampus on me there. Now I was aiming here in this area and I'm hitting up here. So I know what I'm doing wrong. I'm high and left. I just have to see now if I can compensate, make the adjustment to get it where it should be. I've readjusted the target again, so I got it facing straight. Let's see if we can put some in the middle now. I know I'm shooting high and left, so I need to bring it down and over. There we go. All right, we got it down and over. We got it in the black hole. Let's see if I can do it again now. Oh, there we go. Almost pulled another Robin Hood. Did you see that? How that arrow almost hit the other arrow. That's much better. Here we go. There's one in the black hole. It just takes practice, guys. And I'm confident that and I feel that if I came out here every day and spent, you know, 30 minutes to an hour doing this, I'd be a lot better. But for some reason, I just don't. Here we go. That arrow kind of had a weird flight path on it. Don't know what that was about. It almost, it's like the arrow almost went down and then came upward. We'll have to check that out when we pull the arrow out. Here we go. Man, I almost did another Robin Hood. I'm doing much better now, guys. I, I figured out what I was doing wrong. I adjusted it. And, uh, by the way, I use the one above and two below technique. I know some people just do two fingers or three on the bottom. But I've always, since I was a kid, I've always done two under and one over. So that's when I, that's how I'm shooting. All right, last one. Oh, wow. Much better round. Much better. See what a little practice will do for you? Let's go check out the target. As you can see, this is a much better, much tighter group. One, two, three, four, five out of six in the black hole. And one in the white rim around the black hole. Much better. Much better. All right, so guys, I'm going to give you a little bit closer look up at this uh, quiver, which I am very happy with. You can see it's very nice quality leather. And you've got the rivets in the back there. you got the pocket that the tips go in so it doesn't damage your jeans. you got the strap that goes over the belt with three snaps on the back. So that snaps... Your belt goes right through here, and that goes into your pocket. And of course, it holds six arrows. You got nice leather loops up here to guide the arrows in. And it's really, really easy when that thing is in your pocket back there to reach around and get your arrow. To me, it's easier doing this than it is doing that. And, uh, See how easy that is? 
So I really, really love this pocket quiver. Well, all right, there you have it, guys. You see what a little bit of practice does. That last set of six arrows was right where I am very pleased to be. Now, I measured it out, and I thought I was at 20 yards, but when I got my measurement out, I somehow shied it, and that was only 17 yards that I was shooting at. If you're wondering what the distance was there between where I shoot and the target, today it was 17 yards. Well, I'm starting to feel a couple of little sprinkles, so I guess I better take it in. And, uh, hey, I appreciate you coming along on Airbnb Outdoors. I really do. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps the channel to grow. And also, if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd like to ask you to consider doing so. And for those of you who already have subscribed, thank you again. I appreciate it. I hope you guys had a very Merry Christmas, and I wish each and every one of you a happy, prosperous 2022. Thanks again, guys. Till next time, keep calm, carry on, keep puffing, and keep it outdoors.